Nate Makes Things, back for another platformer tutorial. Today I'm just going to show you how to give your character a double jump, and that is to jump once and then jump again in the air. It's actually very easy to do, it just takes one variable. So, in the create event of your object character, you're just going to want to put in a very short code that just says uh, djump, that's what we're going to call the variable, you can pretty much call it anything you want, equals true. And then in the collision with the object block, where it has this, we're just going to make it so if place free with an exclamation mark there, x, y plus 1. So basically this will only trigger if you're on top of the block and standing there. djump equals true. So you'll have your double jump back once you land. Now the reason that we're only letting this happen when you land on top of the block is because let's say that if you were to land on the underside of a block and that trigger weren't there you could just keep pressing up and you would just repeatedly double jump as much as you wanted and almost hook onto the bottom of the wall as long as it kept uh, touching the or pressing the uh, uh, key that lets you jump okay so we're going back to script control again and we're just going to extend the um, jumping script just a bit we're actually going to take this part here with the uh, place free so if you're on the ground we're actually just going to take that out really quick and replace that with something else we're actually going to put it inside the curly brackets <clears throat> So, now that's actually in there. Now, what if you're not on the ground? So, we're going to just put... Let me just arrange this a little bit better. Okay, so, now for else, so if you're actually in the air, if djump equals true, djump equals false. So, once you do this once, you can't do it again until you hit the ground. V speed equals, let's go with negative 5. It's a little bit shorter than a regular jump. Okay, so it's as simple as that. You just have to change around the jumping script just a bit. Alright, so now, once we jump, we'll, we'll jump again. Pretty easy, pretty simple, but very, very useful. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Nate Makes Things.